Lake Master mapping for me has been something I've used a, a long time, at least 10 years, truthfully, and been a part of some really important wins in my career, especially even the Bassmaster Classic. You'd think, man, if there was a place you didn't need mapping, it would be right there in your backyard. But no doubt that Lake Master mapping and being able to understand what's going on under the water has made me a more efficient angler, whether it's at home or at places when I'm a long, long ways from home. It just does a lot to eliminate a lot of water as well as put you in that productive water. You know, one foot contour lines is something we've had for a long time, but Lake Master has just redone their mapping with the Lake Master as well as the new Lake Master Premium. The thing with the new charge from Lake Master, it's got all the technology in it that we've come to know and trust when we're out there on the water. You know, one foot contour lines, and that's the biggest selection you're gonna find across North America huge coverage in the United States and, and some regional coverage even in Canada. And the other part of that is having those navigational aids in there and just points of interest, whether those are places you're looking to catch fish, such as a house foundation, or just call out to rock piles, as well as buoy markers, a lot of those different navigational aids, you wanna know where that stuff is. Now I'm gonna go through a list of the new features on the Lake Master charts, and we're gonna circle back through and really break down how they're gonna help you enhance your on the water experience. Some of the new technology that's in these is the five color palettes. So before we've had one place where you could highlight a certain depth range, we now have that option for five different color palettes, five different depth ranges that you can highlight. We also have three chart view presets, fishing, navigation, and user. These are all really neat presets. Smart strike technology, that's not something that's new, but it's included in every one of these new charts from Lake Master. Of course, it's one boat network capable. Everybody knew that that was gonna be the case, so you can link this up with that iPilot link trolling motor. A couple features that are exclusive to the premium charge, and that's the shaded relief as well as the aerial imagery on the HD maps. So you can turn that aerial imagery on and see what's going on actually up on the shoreline to find some of those little drains, places I love, such as creeks that are flowing into those lakes that you're fishing, as well as the shaded relief. That's a really neat deal and really changes the way that that underwater terrain looks. Circling back to the top of the list, five color palettes, what does that mean? So you're able to go in and actually change just the way the coloration of all the map is. And that's just a, you know, a user specific feature, just like the color on my side imaging, on my 2D imaging, on any of that. Whichever one your eyes sees best, you've got options now to select that color palette for yourself. The chart view presets really allow any user to make what's important to them show up really well on the screen. For fishing, like what I do most of the time, that's the mode I'm going to leave it in. Navigation, if you're using your map primarily for that, that's what you want to go to because it's going to get rid of a lot of that clutter, get rid of a lot of the extra noise, but really just see where the deeper water and where the shallow water is. Or you can go to that user specific. That allows you as the user to choose what's important to you. Do you want the depth numbers? Do you want the colors? Do you want all those different things? That user specific one, you can set what's important to you on your map. Chart adjustment feature. Some of this is stuff that we've had as well as some new stuff. For one, the water level offset. That's a big deal, especially in the region of the country where I live. So to go to and actually do that on the multiple ranges, you wanna go menu twice, come to hummingbird chart, and we're gonna to go to depth highlights. Same place it's always been. But you can see we've got a much larger menu option down through here now. But having those, the ability to highlight multiple ranges now really allows me to dial in because there'll be times when I'm fishing, I may get multiple patterns going out there on any body of water. I may have a deal working in that eight to 12 foot range, you know, catch them on a shallow or a mid depth running crankbait then I may have a deeper deal out, drop shot and fish that are out in 20 to 25 feet. It's a really, really awesome way to do that. And just again, helps eliminate water. You're just able to do a lot of different things now, selecting different zones of that water that's being productive for you. And as you'd expect, you know, it's got the one boat network capability to where you can link this to any iPilot link trolling motor. And then you've got those features such as follow the contour, where you can just allow the boat to basically drive itself. Tell it what depth you want it to sit at, how far out of that you want it to sit, and the boat's gonna take you along that depth line following your Lake Master map all around the lake. The Smart Strike feature is a, a really neat thing, especially if you're either new to fishing or just new to that body of water. You can enter all different kinds of search criteria from species of fish you're fishing for, 
depth, wind direction, lots of criteria you can enter. And then that smart strike is gonna highlight places on the chart that should fit for the time of the year, as well as the species of fish that you're going after. The final couple of features are only on the premium, and that's the shaded relief, as well as the aerial imagery on the HD maps. That aerial imagery, some places, man, it really doesn't matter, and I don't care that it's there. Other places where you're, especially a marsh or places where there's little creeks and things coming back into, areas that I typically like to fish, I find it really, really useful. You're able to see those places on that aerial imagery, but you just need to be able to know we're back in those places, you know, where those fish could be hiding. And that shaded relief, it's really pretty awesome how that looks when you turn that on. You go to your layers, go over, turn on the shaded relief, and it kind of gives some texture to the bottom, almost makes it look more three-dimensional besides just the contour lines being there. So you can tell that it, it adds, just adds another layer of depth to those contour lines just to really make them, you know, sink in in those deeper depressions such as this, as well as come up on those harder areas and make some of those rises show up a little bit more. Bottom line, you can change the parameters to fit your eye preference on all of this. Man, the detail and the accuracy that's been in Lake Master truly since the beginning has been a big part of my success. I have to give a lot of credit for my wins to Lake Master Mapping. There's no doubt with these new features, they've gotten even better.